President Biden said that American women were awakened by the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade while rallying Democrats ahead of the midterm elections. Republicans have awakened a powerful force in this country. Women, Biden said, here you come. He blasts the Republicans for their stances on abortion, among other issues during his remarks at the Democratic National Committee summer meeting in National Harbor, Maryland. The event Thursday evening marked 60 days until the midterm. If they had it their way, they'd come after contraception, marriage equality, the whole right to privacy, the president said. He also took digs at Republicans for their stances on other issues like the high cost of insulin, the climate, and the federal budget deficit. Guess what? You know Republicans talk about being fiscally responsible. We are reducing the deficit, Biden said last year. I reduced the deficit $350 billion. The president made a plea to the hundreds of attendees at the reception to work to vote Republicans out in 2022. You think they would have cared about inflation reducing it? They would have voted for the Inflation Reduction Act. But every single Republican House and Senate, every single one, every Republican in the House, every Republican in the Senate, they voted against it, he said. Now, every single American needs to return the favor and vote them out of office, Biden added. He reiterated his recent rhetoric about so-called MAGA Republicans calling them extremists. He said the extremist MAGA Republicans embrace political violence and added, you can't be pro-insurrection and pro-democracy. He also criticized former President Trump for saying he would pardon the January 6th rioters. I want to be very clear up front. Not every Republican is a MAGA Republican, Biden added. The mainstream Republicans, there's still a few of them left. Oh, God. So, this is... um. I didn't actually see the speech because Biden's speeches to me are boring. And that should tell you something that I'd rather read it than actually listen to it, where with most people it seems to be the other way around. The first thing that stands out to me, right, is that, God, Biden is like, it's like listening to two people talk out of the same body. Because he points out, you know, you'd think they would have cared about inflation. You know, but every he's referring to the Inflation Reduction Act. He mentions that every Republican in the House and Senate vote against it. Um, and that, you, you know, you should vote out every Republican for 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 voting against this bill that he, um, you know, thinks would have helped the, with inflation. But then at the same time as he's saying that they're all like voting against progress, they're all voting against this, he says the mainstream Republicans, there's still a few of them left. So which is it? Are they this extremist group that blocks everything you do, which is what they actually are? Or are there a couple of mainstream ones who can still work with you? So I said, it's just, <laughs> oh man, he's, he, he, he really does remind me of Two-Face sometimes. I can picture him flipping that coin. So where he mentions that, um, Where's the rest of this? And this this is the part that was I thought was really goofy. So he says that Republicans awaken women like right when they re overturn Roe v. Wade. But what I have to say to that is, I don't know how anyone in their right mind would see a, a bunch of politicians, some Democrats, but mostly Republicans, who ever since Roe v. Wade was passed, have said they want to get rid of it, they don't think there should be state-sanctioned abortions, right? That this is something you should be able to get legally. Um, they All the different governors in the red states do things to mitigate it and mess with it. And for some reason, people really thought that they weren't going to get their hands on it. You see, I mean, like you see Trump appoint three conservative Supreme Court justices and they, you know, they tell the same lie that Democratic ones do. Oh, I'm going to vote impartially and my political bias will not inform my votes, which is total bupkis every time somebody says it. But then they see these people get into this position where you have a mostly conservative Supreme Court and you're surprised they overturn something that Republicans have been trying to get rid of since it passed 49 years ago. So I said, I, I really wish people paid more attention to this stuff because I, I have no doubt in my mind that there are a lot of people who just thought Roe v. Wade would be here forever. It's settled law. It's passed. 
But look at the other stuff. They tried to get rid of uh, Obamacare, or the ACA, as other people call it, has been around for over, uh, what, 11 years? And it, they still try to get rid of that and try to repeal it. See, what I've always thought was so funny about um, a lot of, and I don't mean to be a partisan hack, but I just want to mention this. What I've always thought was so funny was that when you talk about like making amendments to the Constitution, like getting rid of the Second Amendment, right? Um, which I don't, I don't support getting rid of. I, we've mentioned before my my gun control rights are that I just don't think people should have semi-automatics and you know other like very ridiculous guns that normal people don't need. But what I thought was interesting is that the same group who says that oh the Democrats are are uh, are activist judges who want to repeal existing laws, right? They have, they, they, and they respect as constitutionalist this respect for precedents and things that were here before, right? They don't believe you should be, you should make amendments to established doctrine. But then here you have Roe v. Wade that's been around for almost 50 years. You have the ACA, which has been around for over 10 years. And they have no problem with trying to get rid of and throw this stuff away. And if you want to throw something else in there, look at the Department of Education. You know, that, that's been around since, uh, what, 77? So uh, over over 40 years around, like roughly three decades, almost 40 years as well. And you still have Republicans when they're running. I want to get rid of the Energy Department, which has also been around for the same amount of time, and the Education Department. So I, I think it's so funny how, like, the same group of people who sit here and talk about Preston and, like, you know, don't mess with the Constitution, have no problem getting rid of anything else that's been put in place since no matter how long it's been around.